Vibration therapy, when combined with conventional resistive exercise, is a great improvement in muscle power. So I personally, for my Women For You Plus, I'm using vibration plate to help joint mobility, lymphatics, increase muscle bulk, but I also have them doing bicep curls, mini squats, things of that nature. Uh, let's take a look at the research though. Vibration plates do work in a very unique way, turning on the tonic vibration reflex. And here is a systematic review and meta-analysis from 2020, the effects of vibration therapy on muscle mass, muscle strength, and physical function in older adults with sarcopenia. Now keep in mind, older adults in sarcopenia, older adults is relative in a lot of studies. For instance, I am 44. In a lot of vibration plate studies, People in their 40s, because peak muscle mass happens at 35, people like myself can benefit from a vibration plate. Now, the vibration plate, when you are on it, how long, the frequency, and if you've been following me, your vibration plate helps a lot of things. Not just muscle mass, it helps lymphatics. But when we look at this, where we're talking about older adults, when we talk about this, sarcopenia, the two things that predict our longevity in our life is our heart rate variability and our muscle mass. If you look into other research who we're also married to and how happy we are at 50 is a very big predictor, but that's not my wheelhouse. But as a physical therapist, talking about sarcopenia, which is muscle loss, is. And sarcopenia is associated with uh, aging and it is muscle loss, muscle mass. And really what I want people to understand is as we are losing estrogen, we are losing muscle mass. Yes, there is some that happens with aging, but as a female, 35, you're a peak and peak bone and peak muscle. But, but in the true, true older population, this is one reason vibration plates are great for a true, true older population. I usually am talking about women 40 plus, but in the true older group, they're not gonna be able to do a mini trampoline. They might not be able to do long walks. They might be too frail to do intensive exercise. So in one particular group for vibration plates, let's say the old, old group, okay? You know who you are if you're an old, old group. There's no shame in that game. You might not be able to do the trampoline. You might not be able to walk two miles. You might not be able to do the weightlifting immediately, but you can stand on a vibration plate. And if you struggle to stand, you can use a handlebar. And by standing with your knees bent, standing on that vibration plate, it turns on the tonic vibration reflex, which helps you make muscle mass. In this particular systematic review, they looked at 1,972 identified studied studies, seven publications, six studies involving 223 participants were included in the systematic review. So they go through this and they end up coming out to say, they come out to say vibration therapy could be a prospective strategy for improving muscle strength and physical performance in older adults with sarcopenia. However, due to limited numbers and how the studies are designed, basically they're saying they need more research to fully drive this point home, which means a larger sample size to further explore. The, the, they also don't say, but what is known amongst exercise is that there isn't really a protocol yet. So vibration uh, therapy for people at home is still relatively new. So the data hasn't quite caught up, but the vibration studies for neuro, it's far superior. This is just talking about sarcopenia, which I am an orthopedic physical therapist and I am always talking about muscle mass sarcopenia and I also focus on women's health. Neuro is not my jam, uh, but in neuro, the vibration plates, it's, it's, it's a big deal for proprioception, balance and body awareness.